Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a basic filled map using Tableau software. Essentially, what I want to be able to do here is to take a simple Excel file uh, listing, in my case, example here, the uh, countries of the European Union, uh, showing uh, their GDP per country, and represent those data in a coloured um, um, heat map, if you like, or filled map over here on the right-hand side. So let's go and see how we go and create a map like this using Tableau. So first of all, let's take a look at our data in Excel. So I've got a very, very simple Excel file here. It's just got two columns, one worksheet called GDP data. And in column A, uh, listed by country, I've got each of the countries of the European Union. There are 28. And in column B, um, I've got a GDP value per country. Two things to watch out for here, highlighted in yellow. The first one is the value for Luxembourg of 258. It's very, very high and will um, affect our data a little bit later on. And also, if you look at the second yellow highlighted one, the country Ireland, if there's a typo here, a deliberate typo, uh, to see how Tableau handles misspellings like this. Now, I don't need to do anything in Excel to prepare it for working in Tableau, so let's straight away switch to Tableau software. When I open up the Tableau software, I get the um, empty desktop like the one you see here. And again, I don't need to import or manage or do anything to the data. All I'm going to do is just simply open the Excel file as if I was in Excel. So I'm going to choose File, the Open option, and then browse to where my Excel spreadsheet is. My one's called Basic New Data GDP. Select that and click on Open. Now, this gives you a few options here when you open the file to check that uh, you've got the correct data in. Uh, you can see here towards the left-hand side my countries uh, listed and my GDP per capita listed here. Also at the top, a good idea to check is that in the white panel at the top, there is just one uh, ellipse shape here representing my GDP data. There's a cog here representing information. If you select that, uh, be sure to make sure that you've got the right radio button selected here, depending on whether you've got field names in the first row or not. Now, I do have the two field names in the first row, so I'm going to leave that as yes. And I'm now ready to select the brown button here in the center of the uh, worksheet to uh, go straight to the Tableau worksheet and manipulate my data. Now, when I come back into the um, des Tableau desktop, we can see now that we have our two variables listed over here on the left-hand side. In the top half of the panel, we have our country, uh, and that's a dimension. And in the bottom half of the panel is where our GDP per capita is. So they were our two variables in our spreadsheet, and they've been separated into dimensions and measures respectively here. Now we can also see that there are a couple of other items listed here. And the most important of ones of these for uh, my purposes right now is in the measure section in the bottom is latitude and longitude. And these have been generated by Tableau because Tableau can recognize uh, countries by their name. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two variables. I'm going to drag latitude, just click and drag, drag it up and drop it on the columns uh, row here at the top. Then I'm going to go back and take the longitude option and click and drag and put that into the rows. So that way Tableau can recognize that you're going to use latitude and longitude to represent each country. Now, and my countries, I'm going to go back up to the dimensions option and I'm going to drag my country and just drop it down here in the middle of the marks panel. And we can see some um, options starting to appear here um, on the right hand, uh, in the center of the screen. If I go over to the uh, show me uh, tool here on the right hand side, you can see there are lots and lots of different ways to represent data. And you can see here in the middle of the second row at the top is a map of the world. This is a filled map, so just select that option there. And it gives me um, a map of the European Union and other countries as well, of course, uh, representing the maps that uh, the countries that I listed in my spreadsheet. Now you will see here, if I just uh, um, zoom in for a second here, uh, that the deliberate misspelling of um, Ireland uh, shows that Ireland is not highlighted in this map. And if I go down to the bottom right hand side of my screen, I can see that there's one unknown value uh, for geographic location. So if I check on that, uh, I get the special values um, window that allows me to edit locations. I'm just going to move this out into the Atlantic here. Click on edit locations. And you can see that Ireland is unrecognized. So this gives me the opportunity to put in the correct spelling for Ireland, which I'm now doing. And click on OK. And we will see Ireland now being highlighted along with all the other countries. So let's just zoom out there for a moment. So now I've got my countries and my maps ready, but you can see they're all the same color because we don't have any measures in here yet. 
So I now want to go back over and do the last piece of dragging that I need to do. So I'm going to click on GDP per capita, drag it up and drop it on the color option here in the marks panel uh, towards the top left hand side. And what that does then is it adds a color represented by the values on each of uh, my country. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on my map again. And you can see here um, that each country is given a color based on the value of GDP. So if you look very, very closely here in the, in the center, you'll see that uh, Luxembourg has a very, very um, a dark green color representing a value of 258, whereas Bulgaria has a very, very light green uh, color representing a GDP value of 45. Now we want to be able to get more contrasting colors here, and there is an option within uh, Tableau to change these systems of colors here. So go back over to the Marks panel and click on the color button here uh, in the center and choose Edit Colors. Now there's uh, several different options in here. If I click the Palette down um, um, arrow option here, I've got several different ways of representing different colors. And I can choose any one of these, but what I'm going to go for here at the moment is I'm going to choose um, the Red Blue Diverging option. And when I click Apply, we can see here that we've got um, sharper, more contrasting colors uh, representing our data. So I'm going to click on OK here. However, there's not that much difference between all of the countries except for Luxembourg. So if I roll over, if I move my mouse over Luxembourg here, um, there's an option in the pop-ups to exclude, and I'm going to put it back in a little bit later on. So for the moment, just click on exclude, because this is a value way, way, way higher than all of the other values. So when I exclude that, you can see we've now got a slightly uh, different picture showing much, much more variety within the uh, GDP in the countries in the European Union. If I want to change that some more and make it even more contrasting, I can click on Edit Colors. And at either side, here in the center uh, of the uh, color range that you can see, I can change, for example, the blue. I could make that into a darker blue. And the red, I could maybe make that into a brighter red. Click OK. And choose Apply. And we can now see we've got much, much more contrasting uh, colors um, and shapes here on our map. We can also, if we want to, uh, let's say we want to represent the high values of red and the low values with the dark blue, I can reverse by checking the reverse box here in the Edit Colors panel. I'm just going to click Apply. And we can now see um, a different range of colors. Finally, another nice thing to be able to do here is to add in some labels. So in the Marks panel up here on the left-hand side, if you check on the Labels button and check on the Show uh, Mark Labels box here, the, you can see the numbers representing the value of GDP per country appearing on the map. I'm just going to make the font a little bit bigger here, so change it from Arial 8 up to, say, Arial 18. And we can now see our numbers appearing um, on our map. So we've got good contrasting colors there uh, to show the differences between GDP per country, and we've got some options to change that around. The final thing is I want to put uh, Luxembourg back in on my map here. So I'm going to go up to the Filters option here in the, towards the top left, uh, select the down arrow to the right of the country um, an ellipse, and choose Filter. This gives me a Filter by Country option. And so you can see in the center here, all my countries are listed. If I scroll down, we can see that Luxembourg has been checked. So I just uncheck that, click Apply, and uh, we can click OK. We can see now that Luxembourg has been added back in. Uh, the right bright red option here in the center. So that's how you create a uh, field map in uh, Tableau software. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.